thank you very much for the invitation for t uh, today's Austrian session. And um, I'm going to present uh, the, basically an institution that is called Virtuelle PH or VPH to you. And um, uh, basically it's a center that's maintained by the Austrian Federal Ministry of Education, uh, Science and Research, and it was founded in the year 2011. And it's now uh, attached to the University, of, uh, University College of Teacher Education, Burgenland, which is 40 kilometers southeast of Vienna. And uh, the Virtuelle PH offers continuous professional development for teachers and pre-service teachers, and also provides support in implementing blended learning to the university colleges themselves. And what is important to know as well is that all the uh, support and the courses, they are all solely told, uh, taught online. So people do not have to go anywhere, like here for example, uh, but they can be wherever they want to be, maybe also in, on that island where the Geo Chipra person is situated at. Um, as we've already heard today in the first presentation, the teachers I need to be digitally competent is like a big thing in Austria and it's in the pillar number two. Maybe you can remember uh, the, what um, Martin Bauer showed earlier. And the big question obviously is, what does this mean? And how do teachers become digitally competent? Because I'm sure if I asked you I would, uh, what uh, digitally competent means, I would probably get 60 different answers and definitions. So uh, this was why the ministry actually uh, asked us, together with uh, some, a group of experts, to come up with uh, this model for digital competences for teachers, which was also included in Martin Bauer's slides today. I just want to say very briefly that uh, this model shows the development. So you have three phases. Uh, phase zero is basically the last model that uh, that exists for the pupils, so when they do the A-levels, and uh, phase one is during the, during the studies, and phase two is then um, the first years of teaching. And you can also see various categories, so it's from A to H, and they uh, basically move from what it means to be a teacher in today's digital world, to creating materials, uh, to teaching and learning uh, as um, in a digital manner and then in a spe specifically for uh, a subject and then moves over to administration and organization. So the continuous professional development, the formats are offered to individuals and uh, as I already said, they can be anywhere and um, here are the most mm, yeah, the most important formats that are offered by the Virtuelle PH. These are e-lectures, which are webinars, online seminars, uh, coffee cup learning, that's a micro-learning module. Then there's an online tutoring uh, a course. Uh, we, are, we have also been involved in uh, the development of MOOCs, and we've just had an online conference for university teachers and I'm briefly going to say a few things about each of these formats. The webinars, they are usually one hour where an expert uh, shares their experience uh, that, uh, or something that they came up in their teaching. Uh, these, uh, they take place uh, at a specific time throughout the study year and they are for free for all the teachers in Austria. Uh, here are a couple of topics. Uh, you can see it's uh, basically working with Moodle, but also what it means to live in today's world, counter cyber mobbing, um, to flipped classroom and social media and teenagers. And this is what it looks like. Uh, online seminars, they are cooperative online seminars. They last between two and four weeks and uh, they are as asynchronous, which means that uh, the teachers uh, can basically work on their uh, tasks whenever they want to, uh, well, within the week, obviously, and there are two programs, once in the winter term and once in the summer term, and they are also for free, and there is an online tutor that helps the attendees uh, through the course, and uh, the maximum number of attendees is 12 people. Here are some topics as well. 
and this is what it looks like. It's uh, on the learning uh, platform and uh, Moodle is used here. The third one is a micro-learning uh, format. It's called coffee cup learning because uh, the learning for, or the formats last or take 15 minutes and this is about the time that it takes you to drink your cup of coffee and that's why it's called coffee cup learning and um, they consist of three parts uh, short videos e-script and quizzes and uh, people can start any time uh, as they are self-directed and uh, and they basically follow the categories that I showed earlier in the uh, in the model for digital competences for teachers and this is uh, basically what it looks like and because coffee is nice to drink and it's also nice to actually uh, collect coffee beans and if uh, people collected five coffee beans they are awarded a certificate which they can then show to their headmasters again. Another format is the online uh, trainer education, which specifically is targeted at um, uh, lecturers or university teachers who are teaching students who are becoming teachers. And uh, this uh, also consists of three parts. There's a kickoff session, usually a face-to-face -face for an afternoon, which is followed then by an online input of four weeks, and then a practice, um, a practice phase where uh, the uh, people either uh, basically do the practice in a cooperative online seminar or in an e-lecture uh, e as a webinar because they can specialize uh, or choose which uh, specialization to take. Um, also, uh, formats are provided for groups and for each school and university college and these are really tailored to the groups um, and usually it's online seminars and e-lectures and uh, regarding e-lectures basically you can picture it like uh, um, a group of people sitting in a room like this and watching um, a webinar or nowadays you would probably watch football uh, with people as, it's, as the World Cup is going on. And the Another format uh, that uh, is quite new is that uh, just in April and May we had um, our first online conference for, uh, called DGPH. So if you're on Twitter, you can basically follow the hashtags, uh, hashtags and see what uh, was going on, uh, which uh, was about uh, universities, digital and innovative. And uh, this started off with keynotes, uh, followed by four weeks of pr uh, basically presentations every day. And the presentations were between 30 minutes and one hour. And um, everything took place online as well. I would like to finish with a couple of numbers. And the number is 27,000 and uh, 27,000 registered teachers are in our um, learning uh, platform, and that's nearly every fourth teacher in Austria. Uh, 50,000 teaching units were reached in uh, 2017, and there are also numerous ideas and cooperations uh, that we have. So if you want to get in get in touch with us. There are various ways of doing that. We are on uh, Facebook. We actually like likes. Uh, we, also, we also like to tweet. And if you want to send us an email, yes, that's also possible. And um, if you are a German speaker or if you have basic German, you can also sign up for our newsletter, which is sent out uh, weekly and um, basic with information on what uh, courses start the following week. And now if you're wondering kind of, well, you know, if I, if I contact the virtual PH, do these people actually really exist? And, and who do I know who to contact? And there are so many people. Well, it's all a matter of perspective of what you regard as so many people. This is the team. We are seven people, very engaged and committed. And uh, on behalf of my team, I would like to thank you very much. And um, I'm happy to talk to you in the to, and a networking session afterwards if you're interested uh, in anything, in, in more details. Thank you very much.